why did you bring us this beautiful statue here? There must be some significance to that. Well, if, if the camera can see, she is listening to a show. Oh, okay. I did not notice that, but uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. And, and we've all done that. And exactly. That's what I want people to think about when you were young. For no reason whatsoever, almost everyone has had that experience of holding a shell to their ear. Your instinct was telling you they had something to say. And all I'm trying to do is say, your instincts were right, and let me just expand upon that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And once the samples you brought us are so beautiful. Okay, yes, tell us about this little guy. That is called a harp shell. And the amazing thing about the harp is its foot is maybe four times the size of that shell. It's huge. And a crab would be looking at that like dinner for weeks. Look at all that meat. So the crab comes after the harp. They have the ability to detach a little bit of their foot, like a salamander drops its tail. Well, that keeps the crab preoccupied, and the harp could get away. But sometimes it chooses instead to use mucus, another reason I say it's magical. It'll mix the mucus with sand and coat the crab, and the crab is oblivious because he's munching on that little piece of foot, till all of a sudden the crab can't move. He eats the crab. He completely turns the tables. Mm. And that's what it means in divination. You can completely turn the tables. Mm -hmm. If I were to select one from this table, just what you have on this table, I, li I, would, li I would like that one. This but one? I, don't, I don't know if I like the explanation <laughs> that I turn on them and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> it just means that you're going to be capable of turning. Oh, but I did, I did mention that little bit of foot. Right. You can turn the tables, but it takes a little bit of a sacrifice. Uh -huh. That's that little piece of sacrifice, foot. Sacrifice that piece. Okay. 